What's cracking guys? Welcome back to yet again another episode of the Honda Recap. I got a bunch of stuff I want to talk about, a bunch of new channels, some bigger channels that are actually doing Honda things, so I'm really excited about that. Let's talk about it. What's cracking, guys? Welcome back to yet again another episode of the Honda Recap. Thank you all for joining me yet again for another Monday night here at the Honda Recap. If this is the first time you're watching this, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and that bell so you're notified every Monday night at 8 p.m. when this thing airs. I'm out here on the West Coast, so that's 8 p.m. California time. Essentially, what I'm trying to do here is go over everything that's been going on here on the Honda Universe here on YouTube and going over it into one digestible little episode so that you guys can kind of stay involved with the community, whether you got school, friends, job, life, whatever you have that doesn't allow you to sit on YouTube for hours at a time and binge your favorite YouTubers. Hopefully I can kind of encapsulate all that for you right here. And yet again, thank you all to everybody who's in the premiere right now. I I'm super excited you guys are there. How are you all doing? I hope you had a great weekend. All right, guys, I wanted to kick this off with a little me personally. You know, I've been kind of putting off the Del Sol, but I figured this is kind of my time to talk to you guys. I haven't put up another video on the Del Sol in a while, but that will be changing. I started tearing down the block just a little bit. I was thinking about painting it, but actually, you know, it's not that bad. I don't really have any leaks, just a little dirty. So I think I might just be like, you know what? I might just keep the block as clean as it is right now. Honestly, it's not that bad. I was considering taking it apart to spray paint it and all that stuff because I will be spraying the bay. I actually went and got paint for the bay now, so I'm really excited about that. I got some clear, some paint match. I might add some pearl to make it shimmer just a little bit more, but it does look good, and I will be having more stuff coming out on the Del Sol. So thank you all for sticking with me on that and DMing me and asking me how the Del Sol is doing. I super appreciate that as well. Kind of considered if I ever wanted to go K-Series, I would have to do that now, but honestly, it's just... Man, it's really expensive. You know, I can sell my I can sell my motor and set up right now, and I'd only have enough really for K Pro, but I'd still need like mounts and a harness, and I have a five speed trans, you know, and I can maybe use a K twenty A two that I have sitting around actually, but I kind of want to put that back in the RSX, but. I don't know. You know, I thought about going K-Series and then I can always upgrade things later, but there's kind of like a giant like gap investment there. You know what I'm saying? But with that said, I might just keep going with this B-World, have fun with it, turbo it and go that route. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But if you guys are wondering, yes, the Del Sol is on its way. I actually been collecting a lot of parts for my EF because I have to actually get that moving because I can't I can't have it sit too long. You know, it's been sitting in the garage and if I don't move it, I'm afraid I'm afraid things are going to get worse, but it's not even that bad right now. You know what I'm saying? But with that said, I got some cool stuff coming along for the channel. I don't really want to be putting up recaps every single week without actually working on my own things. So that's why I really appreciate all of you who come in every single Monday and hang out with me for the recap and I can help and give a little bit something to this community every week. With that said, I'll kick this off with a channel that's brand new and it's Timeless Vision. If you guys haven't followed Sick Astley and a couple other people here on Instagram, this is actually a channel dedicated to him and his son. I think they're building another Integra. You've seen this guy on Instagram. You've seen him in Tommy's videos and things like that, but this is kind of like their intro to YouTube kind of video. I'm really excited that they're starting this because they're already at Chuck Walla Raceway for VTech Club. So look forward for more content with them. Definitely head over to the channel. I think they're only about 50, 50 subscribers right now. So definitely would love to give them a good boost because quality cars, quality content, quality people, you put all that together, you get amazing content. All right, with that said, I'll jump into what's been going on this week, this week here in Honda here on YouTube. And I want to kick this off with Javi Vibes. He's been doing a little collab help with Honda Acura Classics. They've got some amazing cars. This is actually episode four. It's about an EJ that has a lot of heart behind it legitimately. So definitely check out that out. They have NSXs and a whole bunch of Type R's. Javi Vibes has been putting out a series of content right now that I'm actually really happy for because they're collabing with kind of a huge car collection, it seems like, and he's kind of doing it by episode. So as you guys know, I can appreciate that. But every single car has a history, has a past, has some kind of heart to it and reasoning, and they are absolutely classic Honda Acura cars. So definitely check out Javi Vibes if you're interested in watching this kind of footage. Following that, we got Weekend Bandit Bernie out there helping swap an S2000 that literally threw a rod out the block. And with that, installing his top one rear diffuser that took about 17 years for him to actually get. But really happy that you got that. Really sorry you had to go through everything that you did to get it. 
we saw we saw what you said in the last video i mean if you haven't heard definitely check that out but glad you finally got it man really appreciate all the effort that you put in getting the car looking the way it does and it doesn't stop you from wanting to actually help your friend who blew a motor in the s2000 and you're going to put another one in there for him you know helping out with a group of friends but really happy that you have that group of friends constantly helping you create content and just good happy energy out there following that we got motion auto tv this guy actually took a Civic that he had on the shelf for like, I don't know, five years, brought it down, primed it, painted it, boosted it, and now hooking up with PFI, giving some dyno time, literally making like 500 horsepower, man. I'm really excited for this build because you're just, you know, you have a Supra, you have a bunch of other cars, and you're having so much fun just in a Turbo D-Series Civic. But if you were watching PFI, Brent actually explained how this engine came to be. So it was actually built to make a considerable amount of power and that's exactly what it made. So if you haven't been watching Motion Auto TV for the Civic build, it's absolutely a video you should watch. Following that, another bigger channel that's been messing around with Civics again, and we got Chris Rudnick Ricer Miata. The Ricer Civic is back. If you go all the way back to the OG Haggard days, you know that that kind of started a lot of it for him, having a Civic, having a lot of fun there. And then maybe like a year or two ago, he got another Civic and he blew it up with some nitrous, but he's back again with another EK Coupe, having super amounts of fun with the Turbo Civic. He's out there with Jack at HP Logic, making him gut his car very recently. And you know what? I love this content, man, because obviously everybody loves Roadster stuff and the R32 that's on the way, but for the most part, Civic content is where you were with OG Haggard. I'm really happy that you're back to do this. You're just having a lot of fun, man. I'm really happy that you're in Florida just living your life. Following that, we got Bodivision working on a right-hand drive in an EK. It's really awesome to know that not only do you do paint, you're helping people out actually doing a right-hand drive conversion, showing you how you do it, and it's just epic to know. I think the last video, the subframe came out. You're getting ready to pull out the firewall to do the whole swap, and you're doing it step by step by step, just like you do everything else, whether it's paint, prep, or things just like this. I'm really happy that Project Pepto is at a state right now where you can put it aside and work now on customer projects. So props to you, man. I can't wait for this right-hand drive conversion to get a little bit further ahead. Next up, we got Steven Ocasio, who actually had a turbo manifold finally crack, and when he pulled it out, it kind of looks like, you know what? It's been welded a few times to keep it along this far and I feel you on there I actually have a ram horn set up just like yours that I've actually had to weld a couple times personally because sometimes those don't uh, they don't last as long as you want them to but nothing stops you man you got a new manifold you have it on the car it sounds like maybe the turbo spooling uh, a little faster because I think you said the runners were a little smaller so that's kind of cool but Super excited about that, man. I think you actually put on a meet and you had a really large turnout for you, dude. And that's that's super awesome because I can see that being very nerve wracking if you're going to put on a meet for yourself and just have a bunch of people show up and then like, you know, it's kind of small. But I think you had a great turnout and I can't wait to see the footage for that. Following that, we got Kyle and the Boosted Boys finally taking the turbo hatch on the road. Hasn't actually happened in quite some time. You've been putting a lot of effort in with Wago and you got the lift all set up at the shop. And so you're hanging out there with Hayden and his RX-7 that's finally going to get started but for the most part i'm really happy that you're out there having fun in the turbo hatch man it looks so good on those slip streams i don't i don't care what people say about slip streams they they are just an amazing wheel who i mean who, who can deny that but like i said boosted boys kyle out there having fun in the turbo hatch i'd love to see this back at the track next up we got Tommy Law, Tommy Law out there at Chuckwalla Raceway with all the other people who were racing at VTEC Club. It's so good to see you out there, man. And I know you're working on your own car on the side, but it's cool to see you out there with everybody else just racing all the cars with all the amazing parts they have on it. And that's that's what I love the most is because you guys build those cars and whether you take them to shows or just, you know, chill out in parking lots, when these things come about, VTech Club, you guys are all out there using what you've built. Following that, we got Young Static as he's been working on the part two or part three of how to EF swap a K24, right? A K24 swap in EF. Yeah, that one. Anyways, he's been working hard on it and they basically realized that something happened with the K24 that they had. Jump timing, it's not going to work out, but he kind of goes over, you know, the trials and tribulations of picking up a motor from the junkyard. It is a dice roll. You got to look at the car you're pulling it from. You know, do you think the motor went? Is it a straight body and the motor is probably the problem or did it get side swiped and that's probably why it's here? You got to roll the dice, but Probably going to reset the timer on this EF. You know, you always know the Young Static's got another trick up his sleeve, so we'll see what happens in the next coming videos. Following that, we got Zosh doing a big build over there on Crustina. Doesn't forget about her. Made a video with Mr. JB Toon doing a fuel line replacement, and that's what JB Toon has. So you can actually replace the entire fuel line system with nylon hose 
increasing the flow ability for your car. If you want to go full E85, he's got a setup for that because E85 will actually start to erode the stock lines that you have in your car. So if you're interested in this build, it's actually a very, very cool install setup and kind of breakdown of what JB Tune has to offer and how to actually put it in the Integra. But for the most part, everything that happened in the video would work for any other car you have. So if you have an, you know, an EK, a Del Sol, an EG hatch, everything like that, all the parts will fit just different lengths. Definitely check out JB Tune. He will have something for you. Following that, we got Chris Sadowski getting everything he needed buttoned up on the right-hand drive DA swap that he's been putting on. He had some weird lighting issues, blinker issues, little wiring things, you know, things, weird things that happen when you right-hand drive swap your car. You got to extend lines for the harness. Sometimes things get misaligned or mis place but you know what he's been getting really good with the multimeter trying to figure out what needs to get grounded what wires need to go where so i'm really excited to see a little bit more point of view runs on this car and see what you plan to do next next up we got pfi speed these guys broke a hundred thousand subscribers i think they got a youtube button i think i saw that on instagram and you know what i couldn't be happier such such happy people working at this shop it's insane how much they do to help just the customers that come in for tunes sometimes they go above and beyond what's usually expected when you bring your car to the dyno and they do it with a smile and they make sure you leave with a healthy engine just really good smile on your face as well and that's all pfi has to offer so all the guys out there that make sure that shop runs as smoothly as it does you guys are the real mvps next up we got humble performance showing you that a stock k24 a2 can do a 10 second pass boosted it is possible in one of the latest videos if you don't believe it you can definitely check it out top to bottom k24 oil pump everything just in the engine bay can do 10 seconds with a good tune i don't really want to give too much away absolutely check out the video it's really good to watch something like this following that garage built hondas everybody's Everybody's favorite EF builder solves one of the biggest issues a lot of people actually have when it comes to buying exhaust and that is you literally can go to eBay and just buy some spec D or Yanaka exhaust piping generally is all going to be the same and it's probably the cheapest way you can find mandrel bent exhaust that's made exactly for your car. The biggest downside to most of these or main all of them are the resonators and the mufflers are just very cheap. They're not that great. It's probably just an oval with a straight pipe in it and it doesn't really help you but John definitely went above and beyond on here went to vibrate bought some resonators bought a better muffler and got it fixed all at a muffler shop and he got a downpipe right out of the rear quarter panel on the passenger side so he can still hold his diffuser because you know what he tracks his car and he needs that but it's really cool to know that I think he said in the video he paid $97 for this exhaust went to vibrant bought some single resonators and a straight muffler and was able to weld it all in gave the tone instantly much much better it doesn't have any angry b or raspy noises the tone is much much lower it's something you would really want from your car in a b series as well and you got it all welded up and it sounds amazing so this is definitely an upgrade you guys can do you can buy a cheap exhaust make sure the piping is actually mandrel bent and it looks very nice upgrade the mufflers and you're good to go all right guys last but not least we got antoine aka old big murph back at it again with this eg hatch in this latest video he actually was up late at night i think i sp spoke to him a long time ago and he was just you know up late working tinkering on the car had some rubbing compound decided to do a random spot on the car and just the paint came out so much better so he stayed up all night and just buffed out his entire car and it came out amazing what looked like a faded white was actually a very 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 nice color uh, underneath so he polished that out got some compound rubbing over everything and it came out really well i'm really happy that you're doing a lot of gopro pov pulls in the car that's really awesome to know that the engine that you built got tuned and you're just enjoying yourself out there on the road all right guys with that said that's it for this episode of the honda recap thank you so much for joining me for another week like i said if this is actually the first time you've clicked on this link make sure to hit subscribe hit that thumbs up and that bell so you're notified every monday night at eight o'clock when this thing airs we'll hang out here talk hondas for youtube and all the creators that are out here if you want to join in at 8 p.m absolutely join the premiere everybody in there what's up guys thank you for joining me for another week i'll see you guys next week definitely check out hondavlogs.com slash shop pick yourself up a sticker a shirt a hoodie anything else you guys need thank you to everybody who has already done so i'll see you guys next week peace